Welcome back. Once again, you're looking at the insides of a battery pack from a flooded Mitsubishi Maev electric car. Um, in the last video, I cracked this thing open to take a look at it, and I hosed it off with my garden hose to clean it up a bit. Um, at first, I thought some of these cells may have been damaged because with the dirt and everything, um, here's a good example. These have a plastic overwrap on these cells, and right here, that wrap was cracked and that may have been from the water getting in there and freezing and busting the uh, that plastic cover open but inside that metal um, which is uh, aluminum I guess looks like it's actually just fine so huh maybe uh, maybe some of these cells are actually okay now right here this is a spot where one of these blocks of cells is missing and what these are is they're actually groups of one two three four lithium cells all assembled together as more or less a 12 volt battery which we have one of right here this is one that i took out and i scrubbed it down in my bathtub and you can see inside it is uh four 50 amp hour uh lithium manganese cells uh they're connected with bus bars and right on top is a circuit board which is for battery management now if we look back in the pack this bracket right here is what actually held the battery down in there. This wire right here was for the battery management, so that went um, onto this port right here. And then uh, what actually held the battery in wasn't too complicated. This bracket just has uh, one bolt on either end, and actually the reason why I took that out was because it was a, an easy one to get out. Uh, these other ones the kind of two main sections of battery on either side have a lot more brackets around them holding them in. So I thought what I would do here is I would pull the second one out to show you how that's held in. Um, and then basically on the two ends of the batteries were uh, bus bar bars. So it's just a copper bus bar. It's covered in plastic and it goes on to the next section of uh, battery over here. And on the other end, this went to a bus bar back to uh, some of the power equipment on the battery. So let's uh, take a look at pulling out that battery right there. So to start with, we're going to need a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter sockets. The 10 millimeter for these this battery hold down and the 12 millimeter for uh, the actual terminals. So let's start by taking off that bracket. And you'll notice the other terminals are all covered and I already checked for uh, voltage. There's very, very minimal voltage here. One bolt. And then the bolt on the other side. And then next, uh, we're gonna remove that 12 millimeter bolt that holds on the power terminal. And then we need to unplug that BMS connector. It's easy if you press the release with a screwdriver. It makes it real simple to pull that out. And then on the back here, the negative terminal, we need to pop this cover off. And then with that off, we can use the 12 millimeter socket and unscrew that nut. And then that bus bar uh, goes to the next cell in the series here. So it looks like I might have to um, remove that plastic cover and unscrew uh, the nut on the next cell back here. Just pop the next cover off. Take that off back, back around the corner. Because then with that nut removed, should be able to take the bus bar off and I don't even have to take that uh, plastic off there it's funny it's uh, you know in a lot of do-it-yourself projects a bus bar would just be covered with like some heat shrink wrap and uh, in this commercially made EV it's got these snap-on plastic connectors so this top piece kind of unhooks we can get that out of the way 
bus bar back here is removed and I think if I just kind of gently lift this one out of the way we can get the cell out. Okay so there you go. So with this block of cells out I can take it in the house where it's warmer, wash it off, inspect it, and then the other thing I'm planning on doing is go visit a friend who has some specialty lithium ion charging and discharging equipment and we'll start testing out some of these cells, see if any are still any good or not. Um, if you want more technical information on these batteries, these are lithium ion LEV 50s. They're a lithium manganese battery. And I've got a link in the YouTube video uh, description uh, going to some more info on these batteries. Uh, see you next time.